Hello and welcome back to Rick Skits and this final update, hopefully, of the 60s psychedelic group build Volkswagen T2 to Magic Bus uh, group build hosted by Dan the Man at uh, 60s Rule. Stan for hosting it. Right. This is currently where I'm at now. So this is the new body on the van. Yeah, it's only mocked up. It's not glued at all at the moment. I'm just seeing how it sits and fits. Um, there's a few little bits that need tidying up, etc. on it. Um, but after the fiasco of the last one where I put the clear coat on and it just orange peeled beyond belief over the entire van and the only bit that wasn't orange peeled was this front red panel everything else was orange peeled um, noticed I've got the white walls on I uh Come and put the decals on. I was going to paint them by hand, but they actually look, they actually go down really, really well. Those decals on there, and that's all part of the van anyway. So yeah, so it's currently mocked up, and uh, time to get this one finished. I think it's uh, been too long in the making for me. So. I have made a um, footstep on the van, there's a footstep on this side here, climb in and out, this isn't accurate, it's, it's just represents a footstep that they've got on there, it's a little bit wide but I don't care really. It's close, that's what matters. Um, I've done the, I'll pick them up. I've got the door cards which go on the inside of these two doors here. It's sort of a rusty red, but I think I'm gonna to need to try and find something to bring it down a little bit lighter because it should be a maroon colour, but this this looks like um, looks more like a rust colour to me. So I'll have to have a think about that one and see what I can do with that. And the speakers for the back in the back they're decalled up. Remember they're made out of uh, fuel tanks, one thirty fifth scale fuel tanks. So they're done. I've painted up the overhead cabinet with its wooden wooden bottom. These are a little bit more tidying up on the bottom there, uh, and that's that sits inside. So that's done. That's just um, plastic card. Uh, these are a couple of nuts, metal nuts. Uh, they're a little bit big, but I didn't have anything smaller, so. That'll have to do for now. Um, number plates done on the front, uh, and the bumpers are gloss white. And that's the front, and that's the rear bumper done. Um, I've got lights out, got those to start doing. That's rescued the dashboard I rescued from the last last bus. I didn't see the point of re redoing it all again, so I managed to save that out of there. The overhead I've got to redo again. Um, I need to paint the, the uh, knob in the middle white and get a small decal in there. Um, in the instructions, it shows to put a radio decal in there. Actually, there's no radio in the vehicle. If you look in the other 
video of the photos there's there's not actually a radio in this part of the vehicle so I'm not deckling that one up um I've got the this is the interior down in the front of the bus there um on the instructions for this one it calls out for the decals to go on these two parts here but actually the decals sit in there at whatever they represent I think they're uh, air vents of some sort but they go there and this centre part is actually blue and not a dark grey that they're calling out in the instructions so took that out repainted this new piece to go in there and finally I said I was going to have a go at copying the signatures which were on the dust flying around in here on the sun visors so I've give it a go um I didn't go too mad on them hang on let's see if we can get a better a view of this somehow if it can come into play you're going to focus that is Pete Townsend almost almost correct that's Pete Townsend's signature and then oh get it do me there you go that one is Roger Daltrey's signature or close as it can be without being fraudulent so yeah quite happy with the way those come out so now all I've got to do with this is to get the lovely Union Jet decal across the top I don't know how much of a pain in the backside that was before looking forward to that one again I've got the drummer decal to go here bass guitarist decal to go here who decal to go here magic bus decal there um, then here here and about here is the cancer trust children's cancer trust um, decals then we've got Pete Townsend to go across here Roger Daltrey about here the other Who decal and the other Magic Bus decal there and number plate decal across here get all that on all the glazing's got to be done uh, lucky enough there's only uh, six now two or six sorry seven bits of glazing for here we've got one for the back and those there two either side and two in the front get all this other stuff in and I need to paint up the frames on the wing mirrors that I modified because the van has square or squarish wing mirrors and not the round ones that are supplied in the kit so there we go that's where I'm at right at this moment so big fingers cross everything goes according to plan and hopefully I'll be happy and you will be seeing the final in a moment I'll get back to you when I'm done hello again welcome back so here it is the finished article the Who's Magic Bus um, what can I say about this uh, I'm a little bit disappointed with it um, as much as I tried to get the body to sit square uh, it wasn't having it unfortunately but it hasn't turned out too bad uh, you can see inside the, the bits that I've uh, 
did to make it look like the actual bus. So you got the paneling along the bottom with the speakers there. You've got the overhead cabinet with air conditioning on there. You see the speaker. Just about see the speaker over in the back there. Um, we've got these burgundy-ish type door panels. Um, let's turn it back that way a sec. See the two signature. Or Roger Dolphin and Pete Townsend on the sun visors. Doors do shut. Uh, the decals were pretty nice to go down, apart from the Union Union Jack over the top. That is a pig, and it's not quite sitting how it should. Oh, uh, done the mirrors square as opposed to round. There you go, there's the uh, inside best as I can get it. Let's see if we can get a bit of a Better look on that. Seats were not the colour that they wanted in the um, instructions. I chose to do a mod style seat of red, white, and blue. The insides nicely done. Got the white walls. Put the, put the decals on on the white walls and they came out really nice. Uh, you'll probably notice it looks a bit grainy, the paintwork, but that's because it hasn't got... It is nice and smooth, but it hasn't got a clear coat over the top. Uh, you've got Who, Daltry, Teenage Cats Trust, Big Townsend on the back. Uh, the back door's open. This does open, but... Where the back bumper doesn't allow it to open, so there's a little bit of a oversight there on um, Rebels part. Well, yeah, let's just see the there you go speaker on the inside, which I made out of the uh, gas tank of a one thirty fifth scale kit. One on the other side as well, just there. But everything is how it should be. Um, overall, I'm pleased with the outcome. But those little tiny niggly bits that could have been slightly better. There you go, that's it. That's my contribution to the Psychedelic 60s group build, hosted by Dan the Man. Hope you like it. Just want to say thank you to my subscribers, all old and new. I appreciate you all very much. I wouldn't be here as far as I am without your contribution to watching my videos. Um, my next uh, group build will be the excuse me will be the small scale group build hosted by Sean scale model car guide channel and BG model workshop and that will be a 1959 Cadillac Seville uh, the El Dorado bodywork, We're slightly askew. There we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. If you haven't subscribed, 
subscribe, it's free, like, share, comment. All comments are generally answered. And if you haven't subscribed to the people that I have mentioned, Dan the Man at 60s Rule, Sean the Scale Model Kite Guy Channel, and BG's Model Workshop, go over and subscribe to their channels. Great bunch of guys. Fantastic uh, builds going on over there. Thanks for one again. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.